everybody, my name is Aaron Robbins. Welcome to another Magic of Voxel demonstration. We're going to go really quickly through this one because today we're going to talk about the cameras down here. This is everything you'd want to know about all these camera options down here. Okay, so let's start right here. These little um, light bluish, I don't know what colors are. I'm colorblind. What are they? Pink, blue, green? I don't know. But these little boxes right here are your two camera slots. So clicking on them does nothing because they don't do anything when you click on them. Basically, you're just selecting which slot you would like to either save a camera position into or load a camera position from. So this one holds one camera position, and the top one holds one camera position. If you highlight over it or just rest your mouse over it, you'll see that the number 5 key is used to save a camera position, and the number 7 is used to recall that camera position. So all you need to do is pick the position you like. Let's say I really like this overhead position, and now I'll hit this uh, number 5 key to save that to this slot. So I just did that, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch down to this this camera slot, and let's say my other one that I really like is this one. Again, I'm going to hit 5. So now I have a camera position saved in each of these slots, but again, clicking on them doesn't do anything. You have to select the slot and then hit 7 to actually recall the position. So I switch to this camera slot, hit 7, hit to that one, hit 7, um, there. So the next thing we have are the camera types. We have four camera types. Two of them are um, kind of perspective cameras that behave differently and two of them are what they call parallel projections. Um, we'll talk about those in just a second. Not a ton because I don't know a ton about parallel projections. Uh, the perspective camera is just like every perspective camera in every 3D app. You can rotate around and all that kind of stuff like that. The important thing to know is that when you save a camera slot like we just did with the 5 key, um, let's say if I go over here to free, and then I go ahead and recall a bookmark. You can see it switched my camera back to perspective. So the camera slot saves camera position, but camera type as well. Okay, so perspective, you can use the W key to zoom uh, in and the S key on your keyboard to zoom out and the W and the D to rotate if you want to do things really slowly and you really like that. Um, or you're re like recording this and making some movie or something like that. I don't know. So that's perspective. The free camera and important thing is that it rotates around the center of your model. Very important because in free, the free camera does not rotate around the center of your model. This is much more like a first person camera where WASD actually allow me to move around um, my scene and kind of move the camera and all that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and recall my camera position which switched me back to perspective um, there and then the one I had saves not good so I'm going to hit 5 again to just save it right there. The next kind of camera we have is an orthogonal and orthographic camera. An orthogonal is a parallel projection which attempts to dis display a 3D scene in just two dimensions. And the best way to kind of look at that um, is over, I guess, in this position over here. Notice how the frame lines or the bounding lines, where this looks very much like a 3D cube, they flatten when I hit this button. And that is because the camera type has changed and this type of camera is making a projection which is attempting to represent all this 3D stuff in just two dimensions. The isometric camera is pretty much the same. It's another parallel um, projection camera. But this one limits, um, you cannot like tumble or pivot uh, the camera up and down. It will only spin on whatever degrees... Um, I wish I knew this guy's name. The guy that made this program, I just know him by this Twitter handle, at EF at EPH Tracy, whatever the degrees he decided is, I thought it was technically 120 degrees, but I don't really know. It might be 15, could be 36, um, but it's fixed. You can't you can't rotate up and down the orthographic, the orthogonal camera. You can also rotate it um, and do that. Okay, so those are the cameras. The last one you have is the camera uh, ruler, which will allow you to uh, see what degrees you're rotated at here on the bottom and the top. And if you actually right click and rotate on the strip, it'll snap in increments of five there. Outside the strip, it's free. Click inside the strip, it snaps. Same down here, this one's snapping by five. And then if I click outside and rotate, it gets me, uh, lets me do that free. So that's what the ruler does, turns those on and off. Um, the next one, restore camera, restores a camera to a default location. The last one is this guy right here, the auto camera focus. What this does is that if I zoom way out here and then I load a new model, um, we'll just select this one, you can see that it zoomed the camera back in. But if I zoom way out and turn this off when I load a new model, 
um, it's going to stay, the camera position is going to stay where it was. So basically you can think of this as a, when I load a new model, should I put the camera in um, the default position or should I just keep the camera where it is? That is a very quick uh, overview of the camera options in Magic Voxel. Hope you found that somewhat useful. Uh, if you did, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, all that kind of stuff.